Hello everyone, Violet here, and happy NaNoWriMo, happy day 20. Um, today I want to show you some of my favorite books for writing. So these are just ones that I have personally found useful. I am sure that there are tons of fantastic books besides these ones. These are just ones that I know about and that I've used a lot, so I wanted to share them with you. Um, so. To begin really fast, we just have the classic, The Elements of Style. Um, but moving on from that, here we have the Story Structure Architect. By the way, these aren't in any particular order. I just pulled them off my shelf in the order that they're in. Um, but this book gets gives a lot of different like plot possibilities and situations and uh, Basically, it's like you can sort of craft together a plot um, using these things and kind of using them for ideas as well for the different situations. So this is really cool. It's by Victoria Lynn Schmidt. This also is my other book on plot. This is The Plot Whisperer by Martha Alderson. And I remember years and years ago, I found all of her YouTube videos going through each of the different points of plot. This follows a more classic, like three act story structure type of plot. Um, and it's, it's just really lovely. There we go. It follows this plot, but it, it puts it together in a way that's really easy to follow and understand and go deeper with. So I, I really appreciate Martha Alderson and her work on this book. It's really great. This book is probably the most inspiring book that I have. Um, if you know me, I've mentioned her so many times, Julia Cameron of The Artist's Way. Um, I absolutely love her, but this is a book of her specifically for writers and especially for people who might have imposter syndrome about writing or feel blocked for writing because maybe they're dealing with perfectionism or something like that. This book is really inspiring to get going and to just like, follow your inspirations and really let it sing. I think I want to do a video of something very specific from this book that I have found especially motivating, this NaNoWriMo. So I will definitely do that, but I, this might be my number one. I so recommend this book. Then we have here the 3 a.m. Epiphany, Uncommon Writing Exercises That Transform Your Fiction by Brian Kittley. And this book is so fun. It's got all sorts of different writing prompts and exercises that could just kind of get you going. And you could use this at any time just to kind of keep up your writing practice and who knows. By the way, these prompts are so cool. So uh, they're, they're, they're just like tons of fun. But who knows, it could be what sparks your next novel or your next big writing project, but I absolutely, love this book. I love that it's called the 3 a.m. epiphany too because I really do believe in that magical hour in the middle of the night that's especially for creativity and quiet. Um, all right. This book was really interesting to me. It made me think a lot about my approach to writing. It's about plot versus character and pretty much these two different approaches and most people fall within, within one camp or the other. It's by Jeff Gerke. Gerke. Anyway, um, I when I read this, I thought it's funny because it doesn't really have setting, like coming to a story through setting first. But that is typically what I do. Um, but it did talk about how sometimes you can treat a setting like a character and that, that can kind of be your way into the novel. But um, this book is really fascinating for just like the type, type of writing, you know. Um, then the last two books are both other ones that I found just simply inspiring. This is The Fire in Fiction, Passion, Purpose, and Techniques to Make Your Novel Great by Donald Mass. And um, I really, really enjoyed this when I first got into writing, first got into the idea of writing a novel. I absolutely um, found this book to be motivating and exciting. Um, it just like made me want to get going, you know? So I, I, I recommend that book for that and kind of see some of the pages here. I probably read it a couple times, although it's been many years. This is like, you know, more so when I was in high school getting started writing, honestly. Then we've got Thinking Right, The Secret to Freeing Your Creative Mind. 
and this is by Kelly L. Stone. And this book is really lovely for like, kind of like approaching um, writing with a feeling of mindfulness. I actually, I need to, I need to reintroduce uh, myself to this book and read it. But yeah, it's really great. It's got, it's got a lot of different exercises in it. Dream your way to creativity. Oh, fascinating. I'm reading about dreams right now. Anyway, so this is a great book for how do you think, how can you be more mindful in how you approach your writing. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know all of the writing books and I'm sure, you know, like I said, this isn't something I've gone to school for. So if you have any book recommendations, please leave them down below. I'm sure everyone would love to see it. And good luck with your writing today. I hope to see you tomorrow for another um, vlog. I will be here, so please come. And we're getting towards the end, so I can't wait. Next week I've got a bunch of write-ins planned, a bunch of uh, writing sprints, live streams. If you want to come and join, I've got them scheduled on my channel. And anyway, have a wonderful writing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!